a lot of personal knowledge of, of Heidi and a lot of the people that she's encountered. And, and I've always said that Johnny Grant, who was the honorary mayor of Hollywood, was the king of all old Hollywood knowledge. Knew everything from all the way back in the day and knew everybody. Every single Hollywood legend that was alive knew him. And I met tons of people that I would never have met if it wasn't for my friendship with him. I mean, go look at the blind. There's like a Frank Sinatra blind. And um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, just so go read it. And, and then Heidi just straight up 90s, just knew everything. And even late 80s, late 80s, all through mid 90s, Heidi just, she was, she was, she knew everybody. And then, you know, in the 2000s, it kind of splinters and stuff because there's more social media and everything. And Heidi started, she was pretty young. She must have been, I think she started in 87. So she must have been 22 or something when she started. Um, and she started under Madam Alex, who oh, knew everybody in, in the 80s and the, in the late 70s. So, I mean, it just, if you can find the right Madam, they, they know everything in the town. They know everything. And they know, oh, yeah, this guy wants, you know, we always have to bring Coke for this guy. We always have to bring heroin for this guy. Oh, uh, this guy, you know, I have to find the, the you know, one of the escorts who will peg him or whatever. I mean, it just. But then one of the things that I've always respected, and believe me, I have I have asked Heidi under some some conditions where she was wasted. And I've asked her about clients and she's really, really good about not saying anything. Really, really, really good about not saying anything. She really finds it. Uh, something that needed to be protected. And I think that she could have totally avoided prison. Maybe if she had, you know, just started name names, but she didn't do that. She wasn't a snitch. This wasn't who she was. And I think that Heidi met Alex through Heidi's then boyfriend who probably, I think he used Madam Alex. Um, and then Alex and Heidi, they had this kind of fire and ice kind of relationship. And Alex was kind of abusive. And um, and then would alternate to, to, you know, nice and loving. So kind of think of, of like a pimp, except Alex is a madam. Right, a pimp is like, oh, you know, I love you, I love you, and then beat you if you don't bring home enough money, right? And Heidi was was a hooker for a little while. She, you know, she says that she wanted to learn everything about it. So, she, you know, and that's not to say that she wasn't, you know, a yachter. You know, I, I classify somebody who's yachting as somebody who has probably has some kind of other job or some other way they would prefer to make money, but they are unable to live the life that they want to live or unable to pay all of their bills. So turn to um, wealthy benefactors who can help them out in exchange for sex. An escort, oftentimes, it's, it's their job and there's nothing wrong with it. That's their job. And I think I would probably call them a full-time yachter if I was looking for a term, right? Um, and so, you know, Heidi was not above yachting, but then she decided, hey, I'm just going to be a, a full-time escort just so I can learn everything. Um, one of the, I think, where, where Heidi saw this advantage, and, and Heidi has always been willing to exploit kind of like business advantages and things like that. And because she's not afraid of breaking the law, as you can you know, kind of see. And she's always been like that. 
whether it's with the damn parrots or, um, you know, when she got busted for, for trying to grow her own pot, you know, start her own pot business kind of thing long before it was legal. And, um, she's really, really willing to push that line. But, and with the, with the business smarts, it really, really works. And the problem with Alex was that she had had the, the same women working for her for, for a really long time. And, but a lot of them were leaving the business. You know, they were approaching 40, 45 years old and they've been doing it a long time. Some were getting married um, and they just were kind of not around anymore, right? So Heidi came in and said, oh, you know what? We need to have younger women. We need to uh, add a bunch of women to this mix. And she recognized that, but she also recognized the fact that if I'm going to go out and I'm going to find all these women, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in charge. I'm not going to just go find them for, you know, Alex and then not get anything for it. But she saw that there was an opening. And she saw that uh, there was an up, a new group of guys, right? The, the ones that had been with Alex's, they had been with Alex's women for, for a decade, you know? And, and so these actors were, were older now, too. And it's not just actors, but, I mean, it's just act, the entertainment community. So then by 1990, so about three years after she first met um, Alex, then you know, they were done. And that's when Heidi said, I'm just doing this on my own. I've learned all everything I'm going to learn, uh, need to learn, and I'm going to make a kajillion dollars. And she made a kajillion dollars. And she, remember, she's not taking 100% or anything. She's not a pimp, you know, she's not taking 95%. So even with the fee that she was collecting, she was making minimum, minimum 10 grand a night. And she told me that she only made 10 grand, maybe like five times. Otherwise, she was clearing way more than that. And we're talking, this is just her right? This is her cut. Uh, she was, she was making even in the, in, even in the first four months where I, I think that she probably had more than, you know, a couple $10,000 days in those first couple months when she's just learning everything. Because I mean, even the first couple months, I think she made like a million bucks. It took her three or four months maybe to make her first million. And remember, just a percentage and you know what? If you go to jail for prostitution uh, or pandering, it's a lot less time than going to jail for, you know, selling heroin or something like that. Um, so she's going strong. I mean, 1990 she starts and then uh, she got so popular that by the second year or so, she was turning away women who wanted to work for her. That's that's how picky she was. Um, I need to find um, a blind for a part tomorrow. Um, it's interesting because, you know, I've known Heidi a long time. And then I know... People who worked for Heidi, who I will call yachters, because they didn't do it full time. They just did it, you know, certain times of the month when they need money or around, you know, rent time or car payment time or I want to go on vacation kind of thing. And and a lot of them became actresses or celebrities. And so I know a lot of who they are because Heidi was very careful about not identifying her clients, but she was less... Uh, close to the vest about the people who worked for her just because 
Um, some had kind of talked about it and she, she really didn't know which ones had said anything publicly about working for her. She didn't keep track. 